you guys, I feel like my eyes have been open. Um, so, since last, uh, since last we played, I, uh, I was playing a little bit of multiplayer, like, not even, not even, like, ten minutes, okay? Uh, a little bit of multiplayer. I feel like... Um, ooh. I, yeah, so I played a little bit of the multiplayer with, uh, one of my friends. Uh, and... Just, I have seen what this game can be now. And... And, uh... Cause like I said, when I when I started this, I I had no idea what this game was going to be like because I, I hadn't really ever watched it. Um, I'd only seen you know that things didn't really go well for the first little while that it was it was first released. Um, you know that sort of thing. And um, and so when I started playing with my friend, he was showing me the uh, the Nexus hub and showed me the uh, the storefront and and uh, how to customize my character for one which I didn't touch any of that because I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, do that with you guys watching so right now I'm still vanilla but uh, uh, he did help me get this uh, this gun though so I have a new multi-tool see that I, I exchanged it. Um, a bolt caster. I didn't even see that I had that. Or is oh the bolt caster is just the no ammo in inventory. How do I get ammo? I have no idea now. That's that's. How do I get? That's that doesn't seem good because now I can't mine. You know. Maybe I shouldn't have switched out my weapon. But yeah, that's basically all I did was he showed me he showed me his freighter for one. Um, and now I want a freighter. Okay. Um, showed me his freighter and oh, man, I keep forgetting. Well if it's unknown, what is it? Um oh. Yeah, so he showed me his freighter, he showed me how to get this gun, which is a... Uh, Nothing super special, it's just a little bit better. It's a little bit better for- if it's not, then what is it? Gosh, two in a row. Um, yeah, it's not much better than one that I had before. And, oh. He gave me things to sell. And so now I have eight million. Is that eight million? Is that a million? That's a million. Um, credits, units, or whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, I can- I can make all this back up in like, a couple of missions and whatnot. I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, yeah, I'm, like, trying to learn about, about this as much as I can. And now i come to find out, you know, and which, I honestly, it, it did help, because I, I don't know what the end of this game is supposed to look like, you know? That's why I kind of avoid playing games like this on my channel, um, because I don't know what the, what the ending is going to be, you know, if any at all. Um, there's so many, like, words on this planet. He also showed me how to, uh... Oh, look, a little, uh... Couple chests here. Oh, projectile ammunition, how about that? Let's, uh, let's look at this. Let's, let's find one of them. What's that? Oh! One of the other things that I also learned how to do while playing multiplayer was, uh... I don't have an exocraft. Wait. Summon my... my ship! I mean, I knew, I knew how to summon my ship. I knew I could do that. But what I mean is, is I couldn't last time because I didn't have enough fuel. And... now... I know how to make fuel. So... Oh, I'm curious. Yeah, 
that. So I'm really grateful that I was able to, uh, to actually wonder if I can land on the tree. Landing technology. I wonder how I get that. Okay, so I can't land on this thing. That's okay. That is all right. And I'm glad I could play with him too. Well, these guys obviously don't know that. They can just be in on everything. Ooh. I'm guessing I just maybe can't be in the water. Toxic protection. I can I, I can dive. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. You know, to this day though, I um I think some of the best underwater uh, game mechanics that I've seen are in um, Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, let me in. Let me in. Forbidden West. I don't know what they did. Oh. I don't know what they did. Find life See, I don't want to see. That's what I need to do. I still need to finish putting my base together. Here I am wasting time. Yeah. Forbidden West just had the mobility down. In, uh, they had they had mo the mobility just perfect. In. What? How did that hurt me? Can I repair this? Oh. So I've been playing, it's like I've been playing Stellar Blade, and there are a few portions in that game where you, uh, you can or have to swim. And while I think Stellar Blade is great in many aspects, um, I think, like, the graphics look fantastic. Uh, the voice acting is a little weird considering, um, I'm the only character in the entire game with a British accent. Uh, and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I couldn't care less about the Brits. So, why are they, what are they doing in my games? Um, but I, I've really been having a great time with it. The only thing that's bothered me is the swimming mechanics. Because, um, I'll be trying to... I'll be trying to, uh, I guess, make hairpin turns while in the water. But uh, 
the game won't let me because um, because uh, for some reason I guess it just hasn't figured out it hasn't figured out or it, I don't know what I'm trying to say basically Horizon Forbidden West has the best so that's what it was there's no reason to play with explanation so um Oh, terrain manipulator. How about that? How do I... AV1 pass is. I need to make some space available so that I can. Man, all this seems really important though. I need to be able to make metal plates. I just put anywhere. Ugh. Oh man. Okay. This is becoming really frustrating. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna. I want to just mark you. Here we go. So that I can come back. Toxic protection. Falling. Yeah, but I also... I, I was mentioning this just a little bit earlier, but... I also just really needed to play... Uh, get my mind off of things. Uh, it was really fun playing multiplayer. Um, with my friend, specifically. He's, he's just fantastic. I don't believe I've had a bad time playing games, but uh, just dealing with a little bit of frustrations. Um, let's see, there's an auto lock button. I think. What is it? There we go, J. Um. There we go. The frustrations that I've been dealing with. Um, so a lot of it is like I don't know, maybe you guys don't need to worry about this. Maybe it's a lot of uh, uh, school related stuff, and I'm just getting really tired of it. I, um, not, not necessarily school in general, but I'm getting tired of feeling this way. Um, I'm, I'm getting tired of everyone surpassing me getting tired of the fact that I'm as old as I am and not as far along as people almost 10 years younger than me. I mean, the fact that I have I have peers born in 2003 2003 outdoing me. Um, I just... Doesn't make it feel good. Um, so, you know, as most of you, if not the majority of you, uh, are aware. I have been attempting over the last couple of years to uh, 
to uh, become a physical therapist, right? And and uh, it's just taking a lot longer than I want it to. Which, yeah, it would it would obviously oh, hey, look at that. Obviously, it would just be really nice, you know. We just had um, a girl come in today to interview. Um, I was like right next to it, right? way over here. Had a girl come in today to interview to be a PTA at our clinic. That's my um, And I used to be an aide with this girl. Like I, I trained her. And the fact that I trained her, and she's already coming in and interviewing to be a physical therapy assistant, I just, I'm getting upset because of it. Like I, I thought I just obtained one. Um, it just makes me a little upset because I'm taking forever and a day, it seems. Gosh, I am terrible at flying this thing. Um, I'm taking so long. And I hate it. I hate that I'm taking as long as I am. Um, because obviously I don't want to take this long. But the fact that this girl is 21 years old. I, I trained her. What? This isn't my home. And she's coming in uh, to be one of my superiors. Like, I'm going to have to end up reporting to this girl and saying, like, hey, your patient so-and-so is ready. Like, I'm just getting frustrated that I'm, gosh, this thing runs out of power so fast. Graduated, graduated already because the other frustrating thing is that um, I work with a few other people that uh, are in my same program or at least they were because they were able to finish their program in four, three, four years and I'm on my seventh I'm on my seventh year of my three to four year program. I'm trying to... Oh, I see. Just had to read yourself. Carbon, um, the portable refiner? Question mark? No. I put in carbon. I do get condensed carbon. I don't think I need 170 units of it though. Let's just do. Let's just do it. Because I work hard. You know, I I put in a lot of time to 
my education. And what I don't understand is how so many people are able to just Wait, didn't I? I uploaded. I I made a battery, didn't I? Yeah, I put it like right here. What am I missing? Stupid little plates again. Sure, I could make just one. Will I? Um. Space pee pee poo poo is my friend uh, that I was playing with the other day. He took me to his world and showed me his base. That's really funny that I can actually, you know, yeah, why not just warp, warp to base pee pee poo poo. Let's do it. Why not? Um, yeah, I was talking to one of my peers today who finished the program that I'm in in four years, and I wish I could do that. She was explaining to me how she was able to. And she had a lot of the financial she had a lot of financial support is what it was um which i did too i had i had plenty of financial support but i wasn't able to just rely on financial support because i also needed to um i also still just needed to work yes. um, I don't think I'm ever going to stop. Yeah, how about this? How, how's about I... This rusted metal was used to make metal plating. That seems the most sense. Um, so basically, our processes, our upbringings, rather, were much were were much the same, but at the same time, very different. Um, and I still need to finish putting together my base. I need to fit I need to stop dilly tallying and and uh, pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, she asked me when I graduated my, with my bachelor's, and I told her that it was going to be in the spring of next year. And she goes, "Well, why not just uh, why not just you know load up this uh, this next semester and." And, uh, that way, you can graduate this fall. And I said, well, my, um, my, uh, course load is already pretty full. And she goes, well, how many credits are you taking? And I said, 13. Because, to me, 13 is a lot, you know? Because <laughs> I still have to work, I still have to have a life outside of school and work. Um, and I know what, I don't know what most of you are thinking if you're watching this. Um, you're probably thinking, well, you have to sacrifice having no life if you want to have your school be completed. But you know what? I'm, I don't have a life, okay? Because I'm still coming home super late. I only have... I mean, it's, it's 8.30 at night right now. 
I only have from about 8 to 10 o'clock at night of free time. And to me, that's not, that's not free time. That's just time that I could potentially just be eating dinner or going to bed. Um, and I should be, I should be doing that. But I'm not. I how to make nanotubes. To be near my ship. Why do I have to be near my ship? I'm just frustrated. Um, but anyway, she, uh, she goes, that's not really all that much. And that upset me, because I'm like, to me, that's a, that's a lot. You know? That's, um, that's a lot of work for me to to deal with. I, I don't just have all the time in the world to take um, 18 credits every single semester. And that's what she had the availability to do. Availability to do. And I just, what I don't understand is even if I could take 18 credits per semester, how do you guys do it? Because I take 13 and I feel like I'm just bombarded with homework and I have so much work to do and I don't know how to complete it all. And yet, have co-workers and, and peers that are just like oh yeah if I'm not taking you know if, I, if I'm not taking at least 15 credits a semester um, then I just feel so slow and I'm not doing anything but gosh I just I can't have that same I, I can't have that same mindset I just feel so drained and gross if I take if I take more than 13 a semester, and 13 is pushing it. Um, I don't even know if I'm making much sense. I'm, I'm just rambling. What it boils down to is that I hate feeling like I could have been done already. I hate feeling like everyone is just a hundred miles ahead of me, and I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here just thumbing around, and I don't want people to think that I'm. I don't want people to think that I'm just thumbing around. I want. I want recognition that I am trying really hard every semester, and I'm trying to get good grades, and I am getting good grades. I'm getting. I'm getting. B's and A's everywhere. I'm not just, you know, thinking, oh, everything will just fall in my lap. I'm working hard. And I just, I really didn't like that she said, well, why don't you just load up this semester and then graduate sooner? Oh, thanks. I didn't think about that. Of course I thought about that. It's not like I don't think about that.
pages. Take my ship out for two seconds. That's like done. Right. Investigate basically dark. Stop dilly dally. I needed to. This is. Hmm. I'm confused. And I needed to. Investigate base computer archives. Trails of golden fire. About the strange signals at the space station. Okay, so I need to go to outer space. So this is where I was before with my friend um, when uh, he was showing me around, showing me residual goop. Stay the same each time. Go back to the core and settle. Cool. Okay. See, this looks pretty fun. Two. Whoa. 
Which is funny, I don't normally... Um, like, uh... Care for playing smaller type of... Type of character, but... For some reason, this just seems... Shame. Anyone would do anything other than number two. What? A new starship? Dude. I don't know if I can do any of this yet. This is straight up spore, man. <laughs> what? This life form clearly occupies an important position in the station. At first glance, they do not seem particularly interested in me. Perhaps the code will change their mind. Ask about other travelers. No look of recognition passes across the life form's face. We continue to misunderstand each other. But also, I'm like. Okay, I guess I'm not this. Station core. Here's what I need. Life support system stable. Commercial monitoring online. Flight path management 84% efficiency. Atlas air on surveillance uplink functional. Input. Can't do either of these. Where am I going? Life forms to ask about the mysterious signal. Okay, so I guess I'm just. Uh, 
This life form puffs themselves up as I approach, making the most of their impressive size. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer asking about 16. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink, a look of fear crosses in their face. Then, in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing. The metallic being chatters away, pouring forth words in a language that I cannot understand. But when I blink, I see that some the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon of the peak 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Fine, but we have left you. The alien speaks the words that are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through a red glare, logged directly into my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Alright. I'm gonna change. <laughs> yeah. Look how cool this is. My head is just a floating orb of magnetism and that's cool. Alright. Um Okay. I'm gonna use this. Back to where I need to be. And you know what? Let's uh Let's go ahead and call it here. I think this is as good a place as any to stop. So, once again, just like always, I really appreciate you making it this far. I hope you enjoyed what you're watching. Um, I know I rambled on there for a little bit, but um, makes for good entertainment, I guess. Hey, see you next time.